Have you or a family member been told you need to take cisplatinum and you're wondering what that was? Well, today we're going to talk about cisplatinum. It's a very common chemotherapy agent that we use commonly in GYN cancers. If that sounds good to you, continue watching. Well, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. DuPont. I'm a board certified gynecologic oncologist. And today we're going to talk about cisplatinum. It's a very common chemotherapy drug that's used to treat many different types of cancers. But we do use it a lot in GYN oncology because it's one of the mainstays of how we treat our cancers. Well, cisplatinum was first discovered when scientists were trying to treat E. coli and they noticed that this particular compound had some anti-tumor effects. And later we started using it to treat cancer. Well, it was first discovered in 1845. It was FDA approved in 1978. And how it works is that it's one of probably three platinums that we commonly use. The first one we're gonna talk about today is cisplatinum. It forms addicts to the DNA and that's kind of how it works. It's a chemotherapy that usually has to be given IV, although it can be given intraperitoneally. So let's say you have ovarian cancer and your doctor prescribed IP or intraperitoneal chemotherapy, you can get it that way as well, but most of the time people get it IV. A lot of times we use it with radiation, so we'll give a weekly dose along with someone that's getting radiation, let's say, to treat cervical cancer. It's also used in many other cancers, such as ovarian cancer, vulvar and vaginal cancers, again, cervix cancer, endometrial cancers, but also some testicular cancers, lymphomas, leukemias. So there's many other reasons that it's also used, and also some lung cancers. Usually it's given every three weeks, unless it's getting given with radiation, then we do it weekly. And I tell patients, if we're giving chemotherapy, platinum chemotherapy with radiation, we kind of use a small baby dose that helps the radiation work better. That's kind of how I explain it to patients. But it can be given weekly, but most of the time it's given every three weeks. And one of the things that you should know about cisplatinum is that it can also cause kidney damage. So a lot of times when you're getting cisplatinum, especially if you're getting it every three weeks, you're getting much higher doses and you're going to get a lot of hydration. So you'll get what's called pre and post hydration. The pre hydration is usually given right before when you get to the infusion center, the nurse will hook you up and then they'll give you a lot of hydration. Sometimes we'll put some medicine called mannitol with it also, but that's to help reduce that damage to your kidneys. And then after you have um, the cisplatin and chemotherapy, then we do post hydration or more hydration. So usually when you're getting cisplatin every three weeks, it's kind of a long day. You may be getting chemotherapy for anywhere from, you know, four to eight hours because we need that time to give you the post and prehydration. Other things that I want you to know besides the other side effects of the cisplatinum with kidneys it also can cause some neurotoxicity or numbness in your fingertips and sometimes that's that may limit you know if you're able to continue getting chemotherapy with cisplatinum if you have a lot of numbness let's say i have somebody that can't button their buttons or they're dropping things because they have such bad neurotoxicity usually it adds up over time so the more treatment you get you know you may have some of that neurotoxicity other things that people notice is some electrolyte abnormalities, you know, magnesium, calcium, potassium can be lower. I usually see magnesium a lot in my patients. So a lot of times your doctors may check your magnesium before every chemotherapy cycle because we know that some platinum chemotherapy will make the magnesium low. And so they may have you do oral supplementation and also probably some IV supplementation to check your magnesium. So we do know that's one of the things that gets low. With the platinum, you can also have ototoxicity or um, high frequency hearing loss. So that's something that we also tell patients, especially the family members. If you notice your your family member is talking loud or can't seem to hear you as well, usually it's patients that have been on platinum for a while and we know you can get some ototoxicity and that just means some hearing loss. You know, a lot of times if we have someone that already has maybe diminished hearing, we'll do a hearing test or send them to an audiologist, and that's a doctor that will do the hearing test. Now, most adults don't get their hearing screened as often as like, let's say, you know, a newborn baby. We check all of the babies, you know, when they're born for hearing, but we don't always check adults as often. So a hearing test, especially if you're already having some hearing loss, is always a good idea before you start cisplatinum because we do know, you know, long, regiments of cisplatinum can cause some hearing loss. 
It can cause nausea and vomiting, and so usually your provider will, will give you some antiemetics because we know that um, cycloplatin is really hard on the GI system. It can also make your white blood count, your hemoglobin, which is your red blood count, and also your platelets low. So those are things that are checked and monitored very often while you're on your chemotherapy. Other things I want you to know is that your white blood cell count will drop to its lowest, usually two weeks after the infusion, but it does recover by week three, which is why I usually we'll give the cisplatin every 21 days or every three weeks, because we know that nadir is usually two weeks after the infusion, and then by the time you're ready for the next cycle of chemotherapy, your white blood count usually has gone back up. But sometimes if it's not gone up, they may your doctor may delay your cycle. So cisplatinum is a very common drug. It's a very old drug. It's generic because it's been around a long time, but it's a very good drug that we use to treat many different cancers. So if your doctor talks to you about cisplatinum, now you know a little bit more about it. I do have a free chemotherapy tip sheet that I put together that if you uh, want more information on kind of what to bring to the chemotherapy infusion suite on the days that you're getting treatment, just check the link below. I put some of the common questions that I get asked a lot, some of the things that over the years patients, you know, I wish they had known or maybe didn't think to ask. And so I put that in a little tip sheet. So I hope you find it helpful. It's free to download. So just check the link below. Well, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed that and watch this video next. Thank you for watching.